today was an absolutely crazy day of challenges. We had to hold a cheese while flying our command center to the natural to start of the game. We did an amazing proxy hatch and an amazing proxy nexus. Check it out. All right, playing against depression now. For, last time in Bone Cloud, we played against aggression, and now it's depression. All right. Now against aggression, he went very south. So let's see if we can beat this guy with the Bone Cloud. All right, let's go. I'm not going to fly to the to the third base this time, though. I'm going to take the natural this time, see how it works out. I have to admit, I still haven't investigated which maps are actually good for uh, the Bone Cloud or not. Well, it doesn't really make sense. Well, actually, yeah, I'll make a depot here just for the... Actually, I'll make it here. Just like it's a normal TVT, you know, where you build your depot for Reaper Vision. All right, here we go. I always love the surprise. You know, the first, when I started Bone Cloud 2GM for the first time, the best thing was just the surprise. Like, people would scout me and just type something in chat like, bro, what are you doing? Like, and I would actually, one time, um, I convinced a Masters Protoss or a Grandmaster Protoss, I don't remember, that I copied it from the GSL. So he asked me question mark, and I was like, huh? He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, you don't watch GSL? And he's like, no. And I was like, ah, that explains it. And he actually believed me that I copied it from GSL like it was an actual strategy. <laughs> but no, it's just me being a silly goose as always. Now it is a, wait, he was Terran, right? Yeah, okay, another Terran. The riskiest part is dying early on. I think this is gonna be my natural here. Maybe I should save my main for the for the third base. Yeah, that makes the most sense. I'll save my main for the third base. Because the third base is typically the hardest to take. And then we'll just see if I can survive, uh, you know, somewhat early on against the Reapers and Hellions and stuff. Um, I do need to scout, though. Let's see. The Proxy Marauders are coming. Why are you typing that? Is this guy a known cheeser? Now I'm getting scared. Can I scout around my base? Actually, thinking about it, I can scout around my base with this strategy because I need to hide my SCV anyway. It's not, it's not even a bad idea. With, 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 this, with this build, I can literally afford to scout around my base because I hard to rise at AFK the SCV anyway. The, the best thing about this is that I actually have defended freaking Proxy Marauders and Proxy Reapers. Oh, there you go! <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll defend my natural. <laughs> no freaking way. What's up, buddy? Double racks. Ooh, I'm actually... I'm not 100% convinced I can defend double rack. I'm going to build my factory here to wall it off a little bit. I need to pull all these guys off gas. Here we go. Okay. Well, this, this even though I scouted it, it's definitely going to be a hard hold, I think. I'm going to be very slow. Wait, I can send my Reaper across. Maybe I can win the game like that. That's not a bad idea because he will have absolutely zero defense. Let's see. I didn't... Did I make a... No, I didn't make a depot yet. Okay. Here we go. Wait, he's attacking the bunker instead of the SUV. That's slightly unfortunate by him. Now my Reaper's coming across. He has three depots already. That's kind of impressive, actually. Here we go. I'm actually going to make another bunker because he's 100% going to try to run by, as they always do. And do I make something? Yeah. Oh, actually, as soon as I get Widowmize, he's probably going to be pretty screwed, I think. going to attack me with four Marauders soon and try to run by, if at least that's my expectation here. He's paying very close attention to the minimap right now. going to finish it. I'm not, I'm not sure if he... he I don't think... Does he actually need three depots that fast? I guess two Marauders is a lot of supply at once. Okay, still nothing showing up in my base. Is he making stim over there or like what is taking so long? At this point, he should realize that he's screwed. Or did he come back? No, he also didn't come back. Yeah, I guess it must be like a million Marauders just going to show up at once. Bit of mine is actually going to go ham here, I think. Let's see. I, at least I really can't imagine that he's going to come back. He's, he's taking so long, it, it kind of feels like it, right? He's still, still trying to surround me without a distraction. There we go. Okay, is it time? I think he saw my Widow Mine. I saw something on the minimap and then he backed off. And how many SCVs has he lost already? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's, he's putting the boys with it. That is actually really funny, I have to say. No, I lost my Reaper. Okay, I need to repair this with everything I've got. Good thing I made the extra bunker, by the way, for safety. Doesn't look like I need it, luckily. Ah, beautiful. Let's go. The Marauder SCV pool has failed, guys. That honestly feels like the kind of build I would do in a challenge, to be honest. Let's see. I actually, I'm kind of surprised we can out-repair it that hard. I go out on my own terms. Fourth time you play me. Really? That doesn't sound accurate. I mean, I've never seen this name before, to be honest. But I'll, I'll take it. I guess he has a lot of different names. I mean, this game was just beautiful. The Bone Cloud, in this case, it sounds weird. But defending the cheese here is actually nicer because I could make a bunker in front of my natural. Otherwise, you usually have the wall and you kind of have to make a bunker here, you know? And then it's actually a lot... Well, it's probably a better build, right? But it's a lot more annoying. But here, this bunker is all I have to do. Beautiful game. Cheese denied with the bone cloud. Finally, enough for the bone cloud. Let's go. All right. Oh, we're proxy hatching against Ryan Terran. All right, then. Do you think he knows how to hold a spine rush, guys? Definitely not, right? Does anyone know how to hold a spine rush? I don't think so. Here we go. 
Alright. Wait, I need to send my drone already, actually. I I'm not 100% sure what supply I make, uh, this, you know, the hatchery and stuff in, but I guess we'll find out. I hope... It's an off race. His, his Protoss is quite high MMR, I think top 20 GM somewhere. Uh, so I don't know how good his Terran is. And normally against Zerg, you scout quite late. But since it's an off race, I'm actually afraid he's going to scout a little bit earlier, you know? So I'm still going to send my drone to his base. I'm going to pretend that he at least, like, looked up like a proper Terran builder. Or maybe he plays Terran off race a lot. Like, I have no idea. I guess we'll see. Now, I'm gonna go for the 17 hatch, I think, instead of 16. Does that make sense? I think it does. Go here. What is the best unit? The best unit in StarCraft is... Uh, what is it? The queen? The queen. Has to be the queen, right? Yeah, has to be the queen. There you go, guys. There's your answer, the queen. What else could it be? Other Zerg units? <laughs> The Marine. I, well, I think the Marine is too strong of a weakness to be the strongest unit, right? Because the Marine is absolutely horrible against splash damage. Like, absolutely god awful in the late game, you know? So I think for that reason, it can't be the, be the Marine. Though Marine is very all purpose, I guess, in the early game, you could say. But um, yeah, I don't think you can put the Marine that high, honestly. Like, if, if I play against Protoss and the Protoss has a Robo Bay. I'm already making four tech labs on my five barracks to make marauders, you know? It's like, I don't know, man. The Marine, it's pretty good, but stuck, stuck right there. But he's a, really? That is very brave. Okay, that, I mean, applause, you know? That is very brave. He just expanded next to my hatchery. And now he's making a bunker too. I mean, respect though. If he, if he holds it like this, 100% respect, right? We have to pay respect. I do think I uh, messed up my build a little bit, by the way. Everything is a little bit too late. So if he's going to hold this, I did give him a decent chance to do so. Oh, he went for a Reaper too. Oh, that is not a not a great build by him, guys. I guess what I'm doing. Reaper plus command center. All right, here we go. We got there. I'll make it right over here as soon as this creep finishes. Then I'll make more links. No, oh, I need to c uh, cut these guys out of uh, gas as well. Probably killing my spine right now. He should use the SUV to, to kill it as well, I think. Yeah, I'll just run away. I mean, if this fight finishes, his command center is going to be denied. So, yeah, he's going to stay here. Good, good. Oh, he's actually repairing too. That's definitely well done by him. I'm just going to kill the SUV. See, kill that one. And then the next one. I think my queen is actually going to finish in time too. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, this command center is just 100% screwed. There we go. Yeah, he's going to go into the bunker. Let me put the creep tumor down here. Reaper actually doesn't do that much damage, so don't really have to worry about uh, dying to that bunker, I don't think. Oh, my spines are already finished. Holy, that's fast. Man, I didn't even realize I, my overlord was over here. What are you doing there? Oh, no. Oh, good thing I sent another one on accident, so at least at least we're going to be fine. Oh, no, it's actually not going to die. There we go. When's my link speed going to finish? Now, like 30 seconds. All right, that one's going to die. I could choose to target the reactor as well. I do think he made... I do like he made a reactor instead of a marine. No, like, that's definitely nice. Okay, let's go. That one. He's making another bunker there. I do have to wait for speed. Okay, I'm actually going to inject here. Okay, I need to get up his ramp sooner rather than later, though. Like, I'm taking a little bit long. Maybe I can already go. How many marines are in that? Not that many. Okay, he doesn't even have a factory, though. Oh, very, pretty decent wall. I do like the wall he made here. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go here. And then my marines. Where did just attack this? Wait, he's coming out. Oh, no. He's going to lose those marines, guys. Oh, no. What has he done? I mean, Zerglings are as fast as lightning, man. You can't escape from those. He's going to lose those. Actually, they're all 1 HP. Okay, finally they die. I was wondering, like, are those marines really going to stay alive? I hope not. And there we go. We're in the base. And the spine rush is unbeatable. And it proves itself once again. What a beautiful builder. Absolutely nothing he could have done. I mean, obviously, I'm memeing a little bit because he, he, was, he was a little bit insane. Okay, Quetzal are next to my base. Reaper first. Probably not the way you want to go against the proxy has, but it is what it is. Fat dub for us. Let's go. All right. Ah, uh, we got a Protoss. Proxy Nexus against a Protoss, as always. I feel like I can't really avoid it. Whenever I do Proxy Nexus, I always play against Protoss. Every single time. I don't know how it happens, but it does. Now, the question is, guys, and I'm going to ask chat, okay? Am I smart today or not? Because if I'm smart, I think I would just hide my Nexus. If I'm not smart, I would just build it in his base, as always. So, I guess... The chat can decide my fate here. Now, I am still going to go for a similar opening. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go for my Adepts. And... Oh, my IQ is 7. Okay, never mind, guys. The IQ check has been done. I am going to build a Nexus in my opponent's base. It is what it is. The IQ bot never lies. I'm not smart today, no. I think I'm going to save... Should I save every single Chrono Boost or use one? I always struggle with this. 
Because it just feels so stupid to not use a single Chrono Boost, but it does... It does kind of make sense with the build. Like, I'm gonna get six adepts out a bit faster than I normally would. Actually, typically I supply block myself in this build, so I'm not even sure if it matters. You have to be aware of your own shortcomings, guys. Then you can use them to your advantage by dodging them. <laughs> Probably not the best life advice I've ever given. My bad. Ignore that. Oh, I'm getting gas stolen. Oh, no, guys. Wait, I, I literally didn't see that probe. <laughs> I literally didn't even see that probe enter. What the hell? Oh, guys, what do we have here? You guys see what I'm seeing? Is this a one gate expand? Is this a one gate expand against my proxy nexus? Man, I, I wish I had a way to let him know how sad I am that he stole my gas. Like, at least I want to pretend that I want this gas. I'll just send one pro one in a little bit early. I, I have to use one Chrono Boost because else is just a little bit too awkward, you know? Yeah, he's following my pro. He's doing it so I'm not going to block his nexus, but I don't want to block his nexus. I'm just going to shift flick it around. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Around his main base a few times. And then at some point start a nexus. Actually, I need to start my nexus pretty soon already. Go, go and make your natural, buddy. Just let me be. I, I don't think he's gonna let me because he's he's stealing my gas, so he knows nothing crazy is on the way. So he's gonna, gonna try to uh, probably gonna make a stargate even <coughs> if I had to guess. Okay, here we go. This is my one chance, guys. Is it gonna happen? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna chrono boost this adept, and I'm gonna start harassing his probes just so he might pull his attention over here gonna kill that and then start my warp gate i'm actually pretty happy that we got this up because i i felt like we were never gonna get that nexus up unseen i mean he might still see it but even then it's not gonna be that bad probably okay, let me deny this high value mineral pass look at this guys he's straight up losing one eighth of his economy right now that's crazy well not anymore because i mined on accident happens to the best oh i need another pylon though well, let's make this one let's see. wait did he see my nexus or not I don't think he did. Guys, I legit, legit don't think he saw my Nexus. No freaking way. That would be insane. Yeah, he's actually walling us a Stargate. It is a Stargate, though. Hmm. Like an Oracle would destroy all of my Adepts. That's pretty scary. Okay, let's see. I wish I had one more Chrono Boost. That's pretty much all I need. Actually, I'm going to make... Yeah, I'm going to make the second gas, and I'm going to make a battery. <coughs> the Stalker followed my probe, which is actually really nice for me. And then I'm going to Chrono Boost this gateway. Because the Adept is going to finish a little bit later. And then let's see. I'm also going to make a probe instantly. Is there anything here? Nothing. Guys, does he actually not see this? This would be disgusting. I, I This is not even a good map for this at all, by the way. Actually, not a good... Wait, his, probe, his probes went by. He must have seen it, no? Or does the Nexus just have that much vision that he didn't see it? It is actually so stupid. All right, what's up, buddy? I guess, I guess we're in your base. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know. He had absolutely no idea. Did you guys see that panic reaction? He had no idea, guys, whatsoever. And now he has one stalker. Can I surround it? Oh, the surrounding the stalker. I think he has a battery there. He made a void ray. Wait, where's the probe? Didn't I have a probe here? Did I lose the probe already? Yeah, I need, I need to be smart about this, though. Um, as smart as I can be. See. I'm gonna start blink. I have one stalker. I mean, he doesn't have an oracle, so that's massive. He was really focused on defending uh, an attack at the front, you know? Like, probably with, I would say... Maybe like a three gate or like an immortal or something. Here we go. I'm going to shade it in the back of this mineral so I can kill these probes nicely. And I can actually warp stalkers into his base now. Oh, guys, the battery this is going to be so massive. The batteries are going to finish in his main, which means his main is going to be completely forfeit. He's going to try to attack this, but I'm already going to have two stalkers. And I think he just got brewed. I also have one, my one stalker showing up from here. Oh, I kind of wanted to shade these into the main. Not sure why these went over there. Okay, kill these. Yeah, he's just absolutely screwed. There's nothing he can do to defend his main base. What's he going to do? I'm even gonna get I didn't even need this blink, but I'm still gonna get it on the way. He's probably like shocked. He's like, what is happening to me right now? Is this the new StarCraft? Is Stormgate already out? Is this is this StarCraft 3? No, I do need to be careful. He might get a sentry out at some point. Oh, wait, where did I put my adept? I don't even know. That's a stalker. Wait, where did my adept go? Where did I shade it? I didn't even see it. I must have lost it. Alright. See, oh, he's coming back. Yeah, I have a battery here though. Guys, the best part. Battery overcharge, baby. My nexus is in your base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just art, isn't it, boys? What's he gonna do? GG, well played. There you go. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to proxy Nexus you, good sir. And I, I cannot believe that he didn't see this one. That is just disgusting. I, I want to see, see quickly the vision. Let's see. Yeah, he actually just doesn't see it. Look, actually, th this is insane placement. Check this out. I think with this Nexus, I saw, I saw his probe at some point, I'm pretty sure. Maybe...
Or I don't know what I saw it with. I felt like I saw a pro move, but he just couldn't see it. Well, that is actually freaking crazy. Oh, it was around now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it must have been, right? Yeah, I see his probes, but he actually can't see me. Well, that's beautiful. Proxy Nexus. Let's freaking go. Oh, yeah, GZ well played. Insane mental strength. Shout out to Mr. Skynet. Beautiful dub.